the army is also player, though the army is not on the ballot paper. But uh, there has been wild speculation about the army's role in manipulating these elections. So I think it's best for people to understand that the army is also a player in these elections. Projected results of, of, of these general elections suggest that the Pakistan Muslim League, led by former Prime Minister Sharif, is uh, the likely front runner. Uh, he, of course, comes in uh, with the aim of um, uh, assuming the role of Prime Minister for the fourth time, which will be uh, which will be a record uh, in uh, in Pakistan. Um, Behind him uh, is going to be the Pakistan People's Party, uh, another prominent mainstream party led by the young uh, Bilawal Zardari Bhutto and his father Asif Ali Zardari. Uh, they will probably uh, come in with far fewer seats, but with a hefty presence uh, in, in, in the province of Sindh, the southern province of Sindh. Now, what is um, a, a contradiction as far as these projected results uh, are, are concerned, is that the party that is understood to be the most popular party in Pakistan, that is to say, the Pakistan Tehreek and South, the Justice Party, led by former Prime Minister uh, and now incarcerated um, uh, leader Imran Khan, um, uh, is almost surely not going to have uh, a chance of forming the next government because it is it is reported widely that having fallen foul of the military establishment, the military establishment is determined to keep Khan and his party out of government. And they've taken a whole series of measures to ensure that the party has no chance as emerging uh, as the most popular party or the largest party. There's been a, a heavy turnout uh, today in Pakistan, and that heavy turnout points uh, to the fact that there are many angry voters out there uh, uh, who are uh, who are aggrieved at the very repressive tactics taken against Khan's party. And, uh, you know, they may well um, set the balance. But let's assume that those factors are under control, as we have been led to believe, uh, and that Sharif does go on to form the next uh, government and emerge as Pakistan's, um, as, as Prime Minister for the fourth time, there will be many looking to him um, when it comes to, um, to, to, to Pakistan's regional policy in the first instance to try and normalize relations with Pakistan's biggest neighbor, India. Now, Sharif has long been known to favor normalizing relations because he believes that normalizing those relations is the key to reviving Pakistan's economy uh, by mainly encouraging trade relations between India and Pakistan. Sharif will, of course, have two other uh, uh, problems uh, on his hand with regards to regional policy. One is trying to come to some kind of agreement with the Taliban-led government in Afghanistan, because ever since they have uh, assumed power in 2021, uh, there has been a sharp spike of um, of, of, of attacks um, against Pakistan, spearheaded by 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 groups uh, tied to the Taliban, to the Pakistani franchise, uh, and uh, you know it is believed that these attacks are are encouraged by the Afghan government.
most important thing to know about these elections is just how far the military is mired in the political process uh, in Pakistan to the extent that uh, the very credibility, transparency and fairness of these elections has been put into question because the military is determined to keep one party widely acknowledged to be the most popular party in Pakistan out of any uh, out of any chance uh, uh, of, of of forming the next government unfair elections uh, is uh, probably how i would describe it they will be remembered as the most unfair elections in pakistan in a generation Whatever it's going to be, no party is going to have a majority. Uh, so we are looking at what everybody has anticipated, and that is a coalition government, uh, which would probably be unstable, weak. If it does, the results do come in, and it does look like the, the independents are the majority, uh, the big loser won't necessarily be the PML and it will be the army because the army really has staked uh, its reputation uh, on its ability to deliver this vote. Uh, now, it hasn't done that uh, openly, but that's really what's involved here. He's, he's now out of the picture because of that, but not entirely out of the picture. He's really giving instructions to his party. Uh, and uh, so it, it is a most complicated situation and one which suggests that we can anticipate now, whatever the outcome, that the country is going to be politically unstable more than it has been. The danger here is that uh, if they feel that the election is stolen, that they could very well um, create enormous, and, and I'm talking here about the supporters of, of Imran Khan. They might, uh, they might take to the streets and we would find, we would find a level of, of violence on the election that uh, would go beyond anything we've seen before. And if things really get out of hand, then you would have the military declaring martial law and effect we would we would now have another military run government the feeling is that th right now the country has has entered a period of great instability and what i'm suggesting is that this election which which one would hope would resolve a lot of this could very well be the basis for now a, a even deeper, even deeper uh, ex ex exposure to uh, forces uh, which would create instability. <laughs>